Hey there YouTube, Webcam9000 here. Today I want to give you uh, a quick look at uh, Logic Pro 9. Um, some of you may be interested by this, uh, others of you may not. If, of course, you know, if you're not really a musician and you're not that interested in uh, Logic um, or Logic Studio, you know, you, I don't mind if you don't watch these videos, they're just sort of uh, for information purposes, I just want to sort of get my opinions out uh, and what I think of Logic uh, as a music editing software compared to the other ones on the market. But so, you know, this is mainly for musicians uh, who are watching my channel. Hopefully by doing, you know, maybe a few tutorials on Logic 9 I can get uh, a few more people uh, subscribing to me. Um, you know, do click the subscribe button if you do enjoy these videos, rate and comment. Um, like I always say at the end of my videos, it's, you know, I really like it, I really know, want to know what uh, feedback uh, you have to suggest. Also, at the moment, um, I can't actually comment uh, or reply to any of your comments that, that you put on my videos. For some reason, YouTube won't let me reply to any of your comments. Um, I can write in a comment and then it, I can click post comment, but I can never actually uh, post the comment for some reason it never posts so I need to get on to YouTube about that really uh, it's been happening for quite some time so I'm really sorry if I, if I don't get back to you I may send you a um, direct message on YouTube instead if uh, if the message is sort of urgent or whatnot but um, yeah I'm just gonna kick uh, right into this so I'm just gonna go straight to logic this is your typical sort of uh, a range screen um, so this is where you'll see audio tracks uh, your MIDI tracks uh, and you know anything else that you put there. It's mostly either going to be audio or MIDI. Uh, you probably wouldn't find anything else in there. Um, and I'm just basically in this video, I just want to show you a few quick things you can do with Logic. There are other music editing software, uh, you know, stuff out there like uh, Cubase Five, which has just come out, which is uh, good. Um, there's also Pro Tools. There's a uh, Reaper, which is sort of fairly low down, but it's, uh, it's, it's still good. Um, I actually did use Cubase uh, for Cubase Studio for sorry uh, for quite some time, and actually moving to Logic Pro Nine, I can see the difference, and I really like Logic Pro Nine, and I would never go back to Cubase now. I think once you start using Logic, you just don't really want to go back. The sounds are much better for MIDI. The there are just there's just a lot more stuff you can do to your um, your audio and you know MIDI and everything. Um, it's it's a brilliant piece of software, but I just want to quickly run through a few things. Um, I'm just I'm just going to show you this. I was I wasn't going to show you this until a bit later, but the mixer, it it's very simple uh, compared. Well, at least I think it's a lot more simple than the uh, Cubase one. Um, it's sort of obviously if you have a lot of tracks, it's a lot easier to see. Uh, and also if you have a bigger screen, you're going to see a lot more of them, and it's just very easy and plain and set out for you. Obviously you can change all your uh, inserts and EQ here this way, which I'm going to show you in a second. But I just quickly want to show you the mixer because the mixer is very good. Um, okay, so I've got a track here. I've got nothing on this MIDI track as of yet, but I've got a, a track here from 10 to 12. I'll just play it to you now. Hopefully you can hear it, uh, but it's because it's going through my um, laptop microphone, but here we go. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's not a brilliant recording. It was uh, an early take of a 10 to 12 uh, song. Uh, some of you may or may not know it, but um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change the EQ. So you double click your EQ and um, this is what you are greeted with. It's a very basic EQ. You can actually uh, use default, so you can go, you know, drums, um, keyboards or guitar. Um, Personally, I don't like using that, but you, you can, you know, if I click on acoustic rhythm guitar, it changes it, and it's... There's not really much of a difference. I like to change the EQ so uh, I can actually hear the difference. Um, and also, if you if you find a setting that you like, you can uh, save it, like one here, our lead singer. I've, ch I've saved it as Ben Vocal, and then I can go straight to that vocal, because that's this is the EQ that suits his voice best. I'll click reset setting again. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna play it, uh, and I'm gonna edit the EQ as it goes, so you can just sort of understand uh, sort of what it's like.
and there you go. You know, you, as you can see from that, it's very simple to uh, to use. Um, very basic. Uh, quite, you know, it, it's quite color coordinated as well, so that makes it slightly easier. Um, but it's really helpful. So I'm just gonna. Um, I'll I'll, res I'll put it to a, a um, preset. Uh, let's go electric funk guitar. Why not? Um, and so I'm just going to quickly show you uh, inserts. Actually, EQ is put in as an insert, but um, you know uh, there are lots more. So you've got amps, you've got delay. The delays are very very good. You've got distortion, but I uh, I don't particularly use the distortion. If I'm going to use distortion, I'm going to use amps, but I will show you that in a second. That's the one I want to show you today. You've got your dynamics, so you've got uh, expanded limiters, uh, gates, um, and all that stuff. E more EQing, um, auto filters. Filters I don't really use that much, but it's quite fun for some random effects. Imaging, uh, don't really use that either. Stereo spread is quite good if you've got a mono track. Um, mastering, again, not very much. Modulation is good uh, sometimes. Uh, pitch, it has a very, very good auto tuner. Um, recently, uh, I used it in one of our uh, 10 to 12 songs and managed to get uh, the sound perfect with the auto tuner on a guitar because they, they were slightly out. Uh, you've got reverb, which is fantastic, brilliant reverb. Uh, specialized stuff, which I don't really use, and uh, other, other plugins. But I'm going to choose um, Guitar Amp Pro. So this is your um, guitar amp, basically. You can plug in an electric guitar. Um, you can do anything you like, really. And you can, and this is your amp. So the sound will come out like uh, an electric guitar. Also, I'm using an acoustic guitar, but hopefully it will still um, give the same effect. So what I'm going to do is just uh, basically choose. Um, let's choose practice amp, and then just press play. <laughs> Obviously, as you can hear, that's uh, you know actually quite a decent sound for uh, an amp. Obviously, it's a lot better if the cleaning if the cleaning is better, if the <laughs> sorry if the um, recording is better. I do have some better recordings, but I just thought I'd use this one. Uh, let's go. Um, US combo fat. And you can change it as it goes. You can change it from dynamic mic to condenser mic. Or you can change it from off center uh, on the speaker to centered. I'm sorry, the sound quality is not going to be that great, but um, yeah, that that's you know it's really again really just easy, very easy to use. And also you can change the gain, the bass, the mid, the uh, the mid, the treble, presence, your masters, depths, whatever you want, and you can just basically mess about with it. So you don't have to choose a preset. You know, I choose a preset because it's easier. Um, you know, and also you can bypass this. That bypasses the effect, and then you can turn it back on like so. And then you can actually compare. Uh, so it it basically, if you have compare on, uh, it will put the one that you are just using now, and then the actual preset, the real preset. So that's the preset, but that's the one that I want to use. So and then you can hear the difference, obviously. You know, it's quite good. You know, it's very, very easy to use. and very good. Um, I, I do seem to be uh, overrunning a little bit. I'm sort of getting close to nine minutes. But uh, so what I might do is put this in a two-parter and um, talk to you ab about the MIDI because actually that's uh, quite a good part as well. So I I'll cut it here and uh, I'll see you in a minute for part two.